Hi, I'm Leslie from The Vet, and today's video is another five amazing iPad apps that you can be using in your classroom today. If you loved the iPad apps from my last video, you'll love these ones just as much. So let's get started. App number one is Flip, previously known as Flipgrid and is now a member of the Microsoft Education Suite. So Flip is like Padlet, but it's next level. Again, you can create a topic or a discussion or set an oral presentation and students are able to post responses to the question or the topic, but this time they can do it as a video. What I love about Flipgrid is that it really caters for students who have reading and writing difficulties. The instructions are written here for students to read. However, if you have reading difficulties, because this is a Microsoft product, the immersive reader function is available for students to use. By clicking on the Microsoft Reader tool, students are able to read the instructions by changing the background colour, the font, the font size and even the line spacing. And this eliminates students not being able to complete the task because they can't read the instructions. And further to that, teachers are also able to upload their instructions through video and this enables you to be able to demonstrate or show resources as part of your instructions. And now for the fun bit, when students add their response, they're able to submit a video which can use features which are really similar to Snapchat or an Instagram and applying filters, text, emojis and stickers over the top of their video. I found that students get really excited about it because it does look like a social media platform, but because it's made by Microsoft, it is a very safe educational platform and great for use in schools. I love the fact that it has filters where students can hide their faces, hide their backgrounds for students who are a little bit shy about showing themselves on camera or for students who are filming things at home and don't want things in their background to be seen. Once all the students have posted a response to their topic, you're able to go on and leave a comment, either audio, visual or written. So if you want to, you can go on and leave comments for all the videos or you can set it up in a way that you have a certain group of kids leaving feedback for another group of kids and that will save you a massive amount of time in the classroom and each group still gets some feedback for their work. App number two is Evernote. Evernote is an app more for teachers than students. I call it my digital filing cabinet. It's a place where you can store all those pictures, videos, notes, emails, anything that you have for student learning can be all in one place. Evernote is organized through a series of notebooks. So you create a notebook with each of your students' name. And then within each notebook, you can put evidence of everything to do with that child's learning. Within each note, you can attach photos, writing, audio samples, sketches, and anything that you have in the classroom that shows evidence of learning for that child. For example, you can use it to record any emails, phone calls, or communication from parents. With the ability to be able to record audio and to record pictures, it is a fabulous place where you can record all those conferences that you're having with your kids. So particularly reading, writing, and also mathematics. And that way they're all in one place if you have any parent questions or when you go to do reports. It's also a great place to store pictures of kids' artwork for when you have to give them an art grade and you can't see all the work that's stapled up on your classroom walls. It's also a really great way of just recording those interesting things that pop up during lesson. And if you don't have time to actually write something, you can do an audio recording explaining what it is that you saw. App number three is Teleprompter. There's a lot of great teleprompter apps out there. Teleprompter for video is a really simple and easy one to use. Do you find that when your kids make videos in lessons, they're not really great quality because they either have to look down at their laps to read a script or off to the side of the camera, and the ending video is just not that great? Teleprompter is a really great way of having what they're reading right in front of them so that they can make a really professional video looking at the camera and having full eye contact and seeing their whole faces. Simple app, but really effective. App number four is a really fun maths app called Sushi Monster. Sushi Monster is a really engaging app that helps kids to practice the fluency of the four basic number operations. Numbers are placed out on the tables as pieces of sushi and the students have to make target numbers using the numbers that are on the table. Once they have correctly made all the sums, the Sushi Monster eats them all up. What could be more fun? What I love about it is that it has a really large range of levels. So kids right through all stages of primary school can use it. And it also has a really awesome Japanese music soundtrack to it. App number five is a dice app called Natural 20 Light. Now, when I wanna use dice in the classroom, I often find that the ones I want to use are either missing or there's not enough to go around for all the students. So a dice app like this really solves all your problems. 
This one actually has a lot of features, but in its simplicity, it allows you to be able to either flip a coin or roll a dice from four sides up to 20 sides. You can choose a random number from one to 100 or even a letter of the alphabet. A great morning maths activity or even a lesson warm up activity is I get my students to choose three 10 sided dice and a random number from one to 100. Once they have those, they have to use the numbers here, for example, six, seven, and four to make the number 60 using any number operation that they can. And that brings us to the end of today's video. So that was another five amazing apps that you can be using in your classroom. If you loved them, share them with all your teacher friends and tell me how you went using the apps in your classroom in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please share with all of your teacher friends. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for my next video with your next five awesome iPad apps and have a wonderful day.